But what a day, what a day, what a day. What a mighty fine day. Been the two of us need look no more. We both found what we were looking for. With a friend to call my own, I'll never be alone. And you, my friend, will see that you've got a friend in. Then the two of us need look no more. We both found what we were looking for. With a friend to call my own, I'll never be alone. And you, my friend, will see that you've got a friend in me. And you, my friend, will see that you've got a friend in me. What's up, all my bad bitches out there in the world? It's your girl, baby, back again. And no, this is not pop culture news just yet. Pop culture news does return July 25th, 2023. And we will dish on all of the celebrity happenings all over the world. Um... But today we're gonna do a quick little reading for the people out there. So you guys can actually go back and look at my old pop culture news segments for just inspo, whatever you want. And then also you guys can absolutely 100% look at my celebrity psychic readings on YouTube and on Instagram because they was lit. I don't know what y'all been told, but my celebrity psychic readings are super lit. Not only that, but I predicted Beyonce's album before she even dropped Renaissance because your girl over here is is amazing anyways without further ado let's go ahead and flip these cards real quick for june the 14th 2023 and see what's coming out now i will say this yesterday was june 13th 2023 if you guys go back and watch my story then you guys will or not my story but my live video that i did yesterday on here then you guys will see where i did a prediction about you guys keeping your mouth closed when it came down to some type of legal issue or issues surrounding some sort of libra there's some type of libra energy coming your way and this person could be uh, maybe dealing with like some type of significant heartache or heartbreak and or a third party situation and or a third party situation. But I feel like the third party situation, if you're like, you're the center of it. So it would be you dating two different people. So if that's the case, then uh, go ahead and keep them lips zipped and keep them tight. Because baby girl, if you is not married, then uh, is it technically cheating? <laughs> I don't think so. But also, though, somebody from your past wants to come back in and make amends. This feels like an apology. And if you ever have ever read the Bible, uh, this card reminds me, number one, of Ezekiel crying dried bones, where he where he talked about uh, at, in the last days when judgment comes, people coming back from the dead and coming up out of their graves. But also in the Bible... People who had leprosy, their skin looked like this. And when they had leprosy, they were not able to be a part of the general population because and, until they healed because they were looked at as having offended God in some type of way. Nowadays, we know leprosy is a simple uh, ailment to cure, but others back in them days, they were uh, outskirted to the outsides of the city. So this person may be feeling like an outcast in your life in some kind of way, and they do want to make amends 100%. This may not be something that comes to you. I'm not going to tell you when it's going to come to you. All I know is that whatever this energy is, it's meant to bring you in some sort of blessing because some of y'all may have had a really tough, uh, a really tough transition of some sort. Maybe somebody you really, really love passed away 
if that's not the case, then it could be also that uh, you may have lost something. You may have lost a home. You may have lost a job. You may have lost a lot of those different things. And spirit is saying, well, no, don't look at that like a loss. Seek the blessing behind that because we removed that, those things from your life for a reason. So y'all be aware that there is a reason or a method behind the, mad, the madness of spirit, if you will. So... I do see here some of y'all need to get a little bit more rest and or sleep. So there is some type of rest or relaxation that spirit wants you to take part in because at the end of the day, this, so this is twofold for me. Some of y'all are being called to seek rest away from conflict because spirit is guiding you to do that. Uh, and I feel like maybe you guys are being guided to do that because this conflict, whatever it is, it will pick back up here shortly. So probably within the next five weeks or maybe next year on May the 4th, sometime in April, something like that. So whatever this really huge conflict was that had taken a, a majority of your life force energy, that is going to pick back up here. And so spirit is telling you right now, like rest in the fulfillment of this victory because now you've been granted rest. And so... I got this energy once again of somebody watching your every move. Uh, and this could be somebody that this is not this is not like a, an energy to worry about, though. Like this is somebody watching your every move because, you know, probably because they, they kind of feel left out in the cold. Once again, somebody here feels like they're on the outskirts of your life or they're on the outside looking in. But this feels like somebody that you employ. So some of y'all may be doing business with some with another person and maybe you guys have broken the contract or you guys are taking a break from that contract because uh, you guys are not able to see eye to eye. This person could have been trying to, you know, uh, belittle you or they could have been trying to uh, put you in your place, so to speak, so that you were not... Um, so that you were not necessarily noticing that they weren't doing their job. I feel like this person wasn't doing the job that they have been hired to do by you. And they could have been like taking a, uh, taking a break from this job because they were, um, let me just take a look. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ooh, they may have been trying to take a break from this job because they had gotten, they were, this person may be somebody who habitually um, takes breaks or vacations away from doing what they've been hired to do, or they were just really trying to recuperate after losing somebody. So this person could have had a death in the family as well, or they could be breaking up with their spouse. There's some type of ending that this person has been like negotiating on how to get through. And so it's almost as if whatever they were doing for you, whether it be, they were doing something for you that was really important to you, but to them, it's not as important because they have something that's much more pressing going on in their own life. And so if you see it from that perspective and know that everyone is human, they all make mistakes, then I think that you guys will, will be okay with going back into this relationship when the time strikes. But don't go back into it before spirit tells you to because spirit is the one that's orchestrating this, this matter. Like, let's just say this. Let's just say y'all were two years into a project where you guys were about to pitch your, your script, your movie script to a... a an agency or something and all of a sudden things just kind of like took a halt or took a back seat to whatever I feel like spirit did that because they wanted you to rest up because it is going to be it's going to be like a battle and it's going to be a bit of um of an emotional challenge I do see you guys being victorious because number one if spirit is with you then can't nobody be against you that's number one but if God is like placing you in the position to uh to like heal something in either like the collective or in like the world view or experience, then you're going to be victorious regardless. So get your rest because maybe some of y'all have been worrying about this. Maybe some of you guys have honestly, truly, and honestly been in conflict with whoever this person is, whether this be like your lawyer, maybe this is like your friend. Maybe this is somebody that again, you've been doing business with. I feel like a uh, spirit is trying to tell you like to take a quick backseat from that because there's really no need for you to do more. Even if you were to try to do more, both of your guys, I feel like both of you are blind to what the next steps are going to be because the next steps, again, are being orchestrated by spirit. They're not quite figured out just yet. Not only that, but I'm hearing spirits say that you control the outcome to this situation. And so if you want a favorable outcome, leave it be like, let it, let it be at what it is right now. And then you can take up and pick up your baton or your wand when the, when the time strikes you. So when I first had this deck, I picked up this card when I was doing my vocal lesson. We both found what we were looking for.
with a friend to call my own i'll never be a and this card was in the reverse now that i'm shuffling it out it's in the it's in the upright so that's kind of like telling because again this is about you guys this is a really positive card about working together with someone to accomplish a greater and higher goal so again there's a sculptor here and this sculptor is designing some sort of piece for you know everyone to enjoy this is clearly like a, a public place or maybe this is like an archway that they're about to get married under and they are and this sculptor is designing this to this these two people's specifications and so you know think of it in terms of spirit or god being your sculptor and then you two right here are who is whoever you do business with and so you guys are really and truly and honestly working together and trying to figure out what the next steps are. But the next steps will be downloaded to you once you guys learn to rest and relax and then pick up the baton and move into this next chapter or this next journey. Look at this 10 of swords. I told you this person right here, whoever this is, is going through a significant uh, breakup in their life. This is somebody who's in the Air Force or they work in the legal field. So this person is going through a significant like uh, breakup or breakdown in their life where they are trying to pick up the pieces and move forward. But again, I get the energy that this person doesn't know their next steps either. So you can't rush this person because spirit is the one that's got you guys both blind to the issue. Y'all are both very much so blind to this issue. And it's so funny because last night I dreamed of Ray, Ray Charles, but not Ray Charles, Ray Charles. I dreamed of Jamie Foxx as Ray Charles and there was this house and in this house, there was these people getting all of this immense, intense rest. And they were just sleeping, 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 like just passing the days away type of deal. And it's because they're all coming out of this healing journey. Everyone in that house was coming out of this healing journey because they just lost someone. And then again, there's this issue here of somebody that puts their head over their heart or somebody that works in the legal field. This person is very fair, but they don't necessarily, um, they're not necessarily fair in the sense that they are going to love you fairly. They love you, but they're not going to love you the way that you expect to be loved. They're going to be fair in, in relation to what fairness simply means. Like, let's just say you're their child. They're going to love you like a father should love a child. But that doesn't mean that they're always like doting over you and saying, I love you and things like that. They're going to protect you, provide, and they're going to do those types of things. But all this other stuff is you're not going to really get that out of this person. I mean, maybe eventually when this person kind of comes out of this feeling of being like, like really hurt by whatever happened to them in the past, once their ships come in, but right now they're still waiting for their ships to come in. But look how close these ships are. I mean, are these ships coming or going? Are they leaving or are they coming? And I feel like in this particular instance, these ships are technically leaving out is what it looks like to me. But just because they're leaving out now doesn't mean that this three month, four month, whatever, however many month journey, once they've delivered what needs to be delivered for this merchant right here, these ships are going to come back in and then he's going to have whatever it is. Like, let's just say he's transporting goods and services to another island uh, across this little bay right here. OK. And so once they come back, they're going to drop off the, sh the goods, but they're going to bring him back something. They're going to bring him back his coins, his money, his his whatever the equal exchange was for whatever he dropped off to those other people. And so this is almost like the barter, the bartering system that you guys are going through with this particular person. Like, okay, well, yeah, like they can't really necessarily give you what you want in terms of their heart space right now because they don't really have that emotional availability. However, once they come out of this feeling of like this breakup, this divorce, whatever this is, they're going to come back in and they're going to bring you what is owed to you and they're going to pay you what they owe you. And so some of them, what they owe you is love, attention. They owe you that ring because technically the three wands is waiting for like a marriage proposal or a marriage proposal about to, uh, is about to come down the, the pipeline for you this card right here is technically also again the wedding arch this is also like a, um, a man taking his wife to the to the chapel so that they can get their uh their gondolas or their their gazebo that they're going to get married under so that they can build it to her specifications because the wife is the center point of this man's life or of any man's life let's just be real but this is this is this is that this is that so the temperance card is here the temperance card is about patience like when you're trying to temper an egg to make a banana pudding, baby, like you can't like put it directly into the hot milk or the hot cream or whatever, because it'll turn into scrambled eggs. You've got to take some cream and you've got to mix it together until it becomes tempered so that the egg maintains its gelatinous structure so that it thickens the... the 
the concoction, the, you know, the custard, while at the same time rain, maintaining its, again, this velvety yolk-like texture. So if you don't want to become scrambled eggs, don't try jumping off into this relationship too soon because it's not going to work out. Not the way that you want it to. It's going to end in disappointment. But at the end of the day, like your disappointment, your disappointment comes from, you know, almost like pushing, like, did he kick these cups over on accident? And now he said, this is like that idea. Like, did you knock those cups, those cups over? And now you're, you know, really transfixed on what you've lost versus what is really truly and honestly sitting right here behind you. Like give, give grace to what deserves the grace that you need in your life. Like this person can't come up out of their throne or up out of their their moment of rest until spirit tells them to and spirit has not told them to they technically spirit probably hasn't told you to either but you are i feel like there's a sense of uh, a bit of impatience here especially since the temperance card came out so be patient like don't let this don't let this idea of being hasty fool you into rushing uh this next chapter of your life because it's not that it's a bad thing like Truly and honestly, who cares if you rush, right? Like spirit's still going to bless you. If this situation is meant to be blessed, you're going to be blessed regardless. It don't really matter. But it's all about the experience that you have with it. Are you going to have a bomb ass experience or are you going to burn your wheels out, spinning your wheels, trying to make something happen when it wasn't supposed to happen at this point in time? Whatever happens, if it's meant to happen in three months or, or three years, six years, five years, if it's not meant to happen right now, then the purpose of you like really going out there and like trying to make it happen is uh, null and void. And I don't know why I get the sense that some of you guys are really, truly, and honestly walking into your own. And I see here with the page of sword or the page of cups, this is almost like, you know, you and your child, if you're a woman that has a daughter, this is you and your daughter, or this is you and your inner child, or your child is literally going to be a representation of your actual inner child. They are that person that you always thought you wanted to be. And so you can heal your own inner child and, and give this person inspiration, or you can just kind of like allow your inner child to take over right now you know so you know time's ticking time's ticking away it's not about again worrying about the idea of time but it's about going with the flow because the will of fortune look at this look 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 who look at this like yeah there's justice there's a sphinx there's all this high energy here high vibrational energy here but at the end of the day the devil's here too like there's still like this idea of you know the wheel turning in and it's not to say the wheel's going to turn in your favor because it's karma. Karma brings in whatever it is that you deserve and it will be worked out in the in the highest vibrational stance from spirit. And so yeah, some of you guys are feeling like dejected or you're feeling like spirit just kind of like oh, walked away from you. You almost feel like spirit didn't give you what it was that you wanted, but spirit is like, "Well, why do you want what you want when I got something for you that's better?" And like if you look at this like spirit is trying to hand you a cup and you like, "Nah, spirit, I'm good." But spirit is like, "Nah, go ahead and drink up cuz this this right here is going to quench your thirst." And some of y'all again are too busy like transfixed on this third party situation. If the nigga is married, let his ass be married. If he's in another relationship, let his ass be in another relationship. If his ass is just living his best life and not really necessarily worried about this relationship that he had with you, then let him do that. Because it's not necessarily going to be um, beneficial for you to sit in that and like really wallow in it. And I'm going to tell you what, if spirit is giving you this cup and spirit is like sending his angels to help you to to lighten your load in some type of way then don't reject what it is that spirit has for you and whether you reject it or not spirit is going to make it happen captain so you're going to have to go along with it whether you like it or not and what i've learned from my own personal experiences is, is when you fight spirit right and you try to like make things go in the way that you want it to go you try to pull in the person that you want, not the person that spirit is giving you right there. What's going to happen is, is the moment that you end up allowing the situation to transpire in the way that you want with the person that spirit has given you, the one that you've been rejecting, the moment you, you soften your heart to that and you say, okay, spirit, I'm ready. The moment you say that the, is the moment spirit is going to take that person out of your life. And then you're going to have to start over again anyway. You're going to have to like figure out how to like how to how to how to how to find comfort in trying to get your mind around finding somebody new any old way because spirit is not gonna play with y'all. He ain't playing with me. He ain't playing with you. And I know God loves me, baby. I know spirit values my my attention to my karma. But even though spirit loves me and he loves you, baby, he is not gonna play with you if it comes down to you rejecting what he got for you. 
spirit is going to take not necessarily offense to it but once again the moment that you say okay god i'm ready i'll take this is the moment he'll say well zoinks bitch you should have took it when i gave it to you two years ago now look at you now look at you now look at you and so you know spirit is not antagonistic in that in that sense but if you have your mind frame set on what it is that you want then if something gets taken out of your life then you're going to be antagonized regardless of whether or not spirit means it that way or not and spirit never means it that way spirit is love god is love and so if god before you and if love before you then what can really, what is really against you? Like you got to let yourself go with the flow. Okay. You got to let yourself go with the flow, baby. And, and really at the end of the day, the day, the queen of swords is here. And I do feel like some of you guys are walking into a new lesson. I'm not going to read these cards any further. Y'all take, y'all go ahead and meditate on these and, and take it in and see what it, 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 take it in and see how these cards resonate for you part of you okay part of you so like share and subscribe i hope that that message resonated with somebody out there but from a loving place from the deepest depths of my whole heart i will say this i don't give a fuck if you like this reading or not because that's what spirit wanted you to know so whether you like share and subscribe my shit or not subscribe to my shit or not it's what spirit wanted you to know so take offense or not love all good love in a minute though make sure y'all go ahead and stream pop star when it comes out okay because he'll take the mask off of future but not take a picture with me yeah my instagram is weak as fuck but i don't fuck for free and so y'all can go ahead and uh listen to me go ahead and be baby because i'm baby nigga i'm baby young baby young baby nigga stream my music I came in like a wrecking ball. I never felt this hard in lust. All I wanted was to break you off with a little bit of pussy. With a little bit of pussy. But then you pushed me. You pushed me.